Hey, come on out and check out the day of eating, what I ate today, uh, and I'll show you uh, how to stay under 20 total carbs, some of the great foods that you can have, um, and some of the great times you have. We're also going to do a small grocery haul, check out the grocery haul, show you some of the stuff that I buy on a regular basis, and some of the stuff that we buy every now and then. So, um, come on along, stick around, and enjoy the day. Hey, it's coffee time. Da -da -da. So, there's some regular instant coffee. That's all I use. It's economical. And it's all about economics today. So, what tastes good and what's cheap and what's still healthy for you. Uh, I put in some of this Kiss My Keto creamer. This is uh, MTC powder. Get in there. Um, I have a discount code down below if you're interested. Um, I gotta order some more. This is just about gone. Um, and then I've got some uh, the Beyond Collagen uh, that I use as well. So. Get that in, get it started. And that's all there is to it. Oh, I will, uh, when it comes out, I will put some of this in there and uh, just to give it a little bit of a sweetness. Um, and that's how I start my day off right now. I'll come back and I'll sh show you a little more about the coffee. that good nothing like a cup of coffee in the morning so we've been on vacation for the past week um, I don't know whether you noticed it or not but um, but we were on vacation for the past week I uh, had a great time um, you know just I don't know it's just it's nice to get away relax not worry about things not do stuff you know just get out and just enjoy yourself and worry about life and not not work, not I hate to say it, but not YouTube or anything else. So it was it was pretty good. Um, really enjoyed it. Um, today's back to work day after a week off. So um, we'll see how it goes. I'm sure it'll be fine. It'll be a great day. It's just kind of getting back into the routine. But had fun. Um, I'll talk more about it later on um, in the video. So hopefully you stick around. We can talk about that. We can talk about how I did eating wise on vacation and uh, um, and some other good stuff so um, but this is it I don't have any breakfast other than this um, so we'll come back in the next segment and we'll prepare my lunch get my lunch ready and pack my lunch for work and I'll show you that all right cheers all right, so it's time to get some lunch. So we're gonna start off with uh, unpacking my uh, electrolytes from Keto Chow. Um, put that in here. Mm -hmm. I got some of my supplements that I'm gonna take. I'm gonna put in my lunch bag. Um, and then I'm just gonna have, this is a pre-cooked hamburger that I have. Um, and then I'm gonna take some cheese to put on it. Um, take a couple pieces of cheese. I'm going to take a couple pieces of cheese with it. Make it into a cheeseburger. Um, and then I have some protein sparing modifying bread that I'm going to use. Um, this will be my for, for, the, for the bun that I'm going to use. So if you don't know what protein sparing modifying bread is, uh, I'm sure everybody does because everybody's been cooking it. So it's just basically egg whites, right? So they whip it into a bread and so it's virtually uh, zero carbs, or pretty close to zero carbs. I'm not gonna say it's zero carbs, but it's pretty close to zero carbs. So, um, pretty good stuff. But um, that's gonna be my lunch. So super easy, super low carb. Like I said, you know, back after a week vacation, I'm gonna have to try to take it easy, make sure no snacking or anything else. Um, we did pretty good on vacation, I think, but. Uh, 
I just uh, want to make sure that I'm back in my normal routine and things are going well. So, um, but that's that's basically all I'm going to have for lunch. So, um, we'll come back in the next segment and I'll show you, show me how I fix it. All right. Well, it's time to make some lunch. So I'm going to take my bread. I'm just because I want to. I want to toast it. Put those in the toasters. And then I'm going to defrost my, finish defrosting my uh, my burger. And then I'm going to make the sandwich. I'll show you that one in a minute here. Alright, so here's my toasted bread. Here is my burger. My burger. I'll put that on my bread. Put my cheese on there. that up real quick quick good So I'm out for my walk and I thought I'd just kind of show you real quick like uh, some of the strawberries. I'm going to turn the camera around here. I don't know. Um, turn it around a little bit. Uh, zoom in. And you can see the strawberries. Some of them are ready to pick. Uh, so they'll probably be out here in the next couple of weeks. Uh, next week or so. Starting to pick them. Oh, pretty cool. Um, but Yeah. Lots of good ones. So pretty windy day out. I'm not sure how bad this is on uh, my phone, but I'm sure that it's picking up a lot of that wind. Uh, we've been getting a lot of wind out here lately, so um, but just a beautiful day out. Otherwise, it's not bad. It's uh, in the upper 60s, a sunny, a little windy. This later this week, it's supposed to get cloudy and rain and some other stuff. Um, but uh, yeah, good get out do my 20 minute walk and uh, get a little exercise in after I eat my lunch so we had to do a, a little bit of a grocery haul so I thought I'd show it to you what we got this is kind of for the week and uh, we had kind of because we went away to buy stuff the week before so it was kind of uh, try to refill some of the, the things that were missing and uh, get ready for the coming week right so um, I just kind of go through it real quick like um, Snacks, right? So I said I wasn't gonna snack, but I bought some high low chips. Um, those are good on the weekends and stuff like that. Um, again, bought some uh, coconut flour. We got a couple of recipes we're gonna try for that. Um, have something that we're gonna make. We're gonna actually make some more lemon bread. I got this uh, keto and company fudge brownies. Just thought we'd try it, um, just out of curiosity, and see how it goes. My wife got some tea. Um, it's uh, one's a green tea and the other one is a, a detox dandelion tea. So we got some of those. Um, that's for for her. Then I got uh, they had uh, the keto two good yogurts on sale. So we bought uh, they were four for five dollars. So we got twelve of them because my wife likes them and I like them as well. So we got twelve of those. That will last me the week um, and then some of the weekend. I did get a couple of uh, things of uh, blackberries. So um, two of these that will go in the refrigerator. Um, got some unsweetened coconut milk that we drink. 
we we got a recipe that we're doing. We're doing a sheet pan uh, recipe. So we've got a couple cans of mushrooms that we're going to use for that recipe. Um, got some avocados that we're going to be using for a recipe coming up. We'll actually be using that with a salad that we're going to be making. I did get some of the no sugar added um, Heinz ketchup. So um, I've got one of those so I can have it on my burgers and stuff. We've got some sweet peppers. To go with it, we've got some uh, dill pickles, kosher dill pickles, um, to snack on. Um, great, great things to snack on. Some Brussels sprouts. Um, two of the Brussels sprouts, because that's going to be for the sheet pan uh, recipe that we're going to make. Um, we've got some broccoli florets as well. Uh, we got some pollock, some uh, wild pollock cut. So that was on sale. So we've got some of that. Um, we also got a zucchini. Um, that will be for that sheet pan recipe as well. We did get 18 eggs. They were $8.99. Um, last time we went to Sprouts, this was not Sprouts, this was uh, at Kruger's. But last time we went to Sprouts, they were $5.99 at Sprouts. So I'm going to have to check it out. Maybe they're cheaper to get eggs at Sprouts and maybe every once in a while. Because it's pretty close to here. So um, next time we need eggs, I'll stop by there and I'll see how much they are. Um, I did because we do uh, have a couple of lemon recipes coming up. We ran out of lemon extract. Um, and then some cream of tartar to make the protein stir and modifying breads. So I got those as well. We got some of the green beans for, uh, for some of the recipes that we're making. My wife wanted some grapes, so we got some. She got some of those black grapes. Um, we got some baby arugula um, and some baby spinach for salads that we'll be making during the week. We gotta try to make up for some of the, the stuff we ate uh, while we're on vacation. Um, and then we did get some juices. These are the, the five calorie uh, diet caution sprays. I know they're not the best, they're pretty dirty, dirty keto, right? At, at the best, but um, we got it. We drink them every once in a great, great while. We'll have them. We actually got three of them. There's another one as well. So the cranberry one. Um, my wife likes them. I like them, so we get them. So again, um, I think that's everything in our grocery haul. So it wasn't a big grocery haul, but it was enough to, to fill us for the week. Um, some really cool stuff to try out. You can't wait to try out the, the keto brownies. We'll make those this weekend. Um, and I'll let you know how they are um, sometime in the near future, right? So, nice haul. Tell me what you think. Um, what was your favorite item that you saw? Um, you know, what, what items do you get on a regular basis that I got? So let me know down in the comments. That would be really cool. And don't forget to subscribe. Hit that thumbs up button right now. And then hit that little bell icon over here. That would be really, really awesome too as well. I'll see you in the next segment because we're going to get ready for dinner. All right, here is dinner. It's two pieces of wild sockeye salmon with some broccoli getting all fogged up here. But uh, really good. Cooked with a little bit of garlic and some onions on it and some capers. So <clears throat> pretty good. Go through the macros in the next segment. Hey, so we're done. What a great day, huh? Hopefully, uh, hopefully you enjoyed the content. Hopefully, uh, you liked the video. So let's kind of refresh ourselves on what we ate today and uh, all that good stuff. So, um, <clears throat> morning I had my coffee. I put my that kiss my keto in it, that collagen peptide in it, and that Lantana monk fruit extract in it. And that's all I had for breakfast. Then for lunch I had that protein sperm modifying bread, <clears throat> that burger with the cheese on it. And then for dinner we had the sockeye salmon and the broccoli and the sockeye salmon was cooked. How would you say that? Foxil. Foxil? Foxil. So it was... Foxil. What is it? B-A-K-S-I-W. Foxil? Foxil, yeah. Foxil. <laughs> you learned something new today. So it means that it was cooked in... Uh, um, and olive oil and vinegar and uh, with onions and uh, garlic and some other stuff. So, um, so that's how it was cooked. So, um, it was good. It was really, really good. And then I did eat a little tiny sliver of uh, Lily's um, hazelnut chocolate. So it was about a quarter of a serving size. So, uh, my wife and I split um, a half a serving. So, <laughs> it was she wanted something to get rid of the fishy taste out of her mouth. So. Uh, <laughs> So I'm, I'm more than willing to oblige.
So, um, but anyway, it was a great day, even with that, because um, I counted for four of these carbs. Um, but even out of that, um, it was a great day, and I stayed way, way under my 20 total carbs. Um, so up here, you're going to see that I ate 155 grams of protein out of 101, so that was great. Um, I only hit uh, 89 out of 126 of my fat, so I could have probably eaten some a little more fat in it, um, eh, but that's okay. I'm, I'm happy with the way it turned out. Um, calories was 1,482 out of 1621, so that was good. Um, I did 12 total carbs out of 20, so I stayed under. Five fiber, so if I was tracking net carbs, it would have been six net carbs. So, um, so pretty good day. Um, you know, um, I enjoyed it. It was a lot of food. I'm very, very full, very, very happy, very satisfied. So, um, you know, hey, if you have any questions or anything else, don't forget to, uh, to email me. There's an email down below. Love to help you. Love to uh, talk to you. Um, you know, let me know. Um, tell me what you, your favorite part of the day was. Um, you know, let me know down below. Comment down below. I really, really appreciate that. And uh, don't forget to check out the Friday, the Saturday lives that I have. Uh, come on over and join us on one of the lives. Um, ask some questions. Uh, participate. Um, this week, I'm doing a wrap up for the hit the post, say it, but really the wrap up for the March for February. Actually, this when this video comes out, it'll be. Um, already done, and we will be talking to, I believe, Scott from uh, um, how he lost all of his 130 pounds. So, um, but anyway, I think it's actually more than that, so I'll have to get some more details out of it. Anyway, so a lot of great things coming up, so um, hopefully you join me on those as well. So, all right, hey, if, you, if you like the video, make sure you hit the thumbs up, hit that subscribe button, hit that bell icon. I really, really appreciate you guys. Um, you guys are awesome. I'll talk to you next time. And if you want to see more great content like this, check out this video over here or click on this Alan's Awesome logo over here because you guys are awesome.